Ready ya? Eh? Okay. Two. Action. Okay, what's up guys? Fahan here with Nisa. Once again, and today we have uh, Greg. Uh. Gary. Gary. <laughs> Sorry. No worries, Fahan. <laughs> confused. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, I know I have STM, uh, so hope you understand that. Uh. No worries, no worries, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Gary's bike. Mm. The Harley Davidson Iron Sportster 883. Uh. Yes, mm. correct. Yeah. I have to say that I never really do research about this bike until just now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but looking at it, it seems pretty like macam impressive, or macam like macam Batman, you know. The, yeah. Uh, so overall outlook, uh. <laughs> I, uh, you know, during my NS time, uh, I had a friend who actually wrote this, you know, once. Oh, After really? he passed his class two, right? The next day he bought these bikes, uh, He brought this bike uh, to station, uh, Because I was in the airport police division, so he just ro 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 eh, style of her. <laughs> <laughs> But I can't remember what the model. Like. It's a Sportster as well. I think, yeah. I think it's the same model. Uh. Yeah, but it's a different, mm. maybe a different era. Uh. Like Before Gary tell us a story about his uh, Iron Sportster, we can give a bit of a background about it, uh. Part of the Harley Sportster lineup, the Iron 883 came into the market in 2015 and is marketed as an entry-level cruiser. The Iron 883 revolves around the idea of a blacktop motorcycle stripped down custom style, providing a blank canvas to customize to the rider's liking. Engine is the Evolution, an 883cc air-cooled 45 degree V-twin, two valves per cylinder with electronic sequential port fuel injection and a 5-speed manual transmission. The HD Sportster Iron 883 is one of the more popular Harley models in Singapore due to its low price point. Alright guys, so shout out to our sponsor, DP Moly. Do check out their online store for awesome motorbike care related products. Support us by clicking on the link below to view the range of products. Or use our promo code upon checking out. Alright, Gary, I understand that uh, this is actually your first ever class 2 bike. Uh, and yes. mostly uh, riders all are class 2 bike. Uh. <laughs> your first bike is a 750 or uh, all those uh, easy to manage kind of bikes. Uh, but wow, why did you go for a Harley, man? So this is my first class 2 bike. Uh. Once I passed my class 2 last year, right, then straight away I actually bought this bike. Yeah, uh, one of the reasons is also because, right, like, if you're a CDC student, if let's say you, on the day you pass, uh, the Harley people will come to show you like a test ride. <laughs> Serious? Yeah, so I get to test ride an AA3 on the day that I pass. Like oh. within like five minutes, then I sign up for it. So I went to try. <laughs> then actually, Harley has been my childhood dream since young. La. When the time comes, I just had to get it all. Mm. Mm, I see, I see. So uh, this one is a 2015 model. La. Yes. And how you came across this bike actually? Okay, actually I was, once I passed my class 2, I actually went to check out a few like postings on Carousel and SG Bike Mart. La. I actually checked out um, one more model before this, it was a uh, Street 750, one of the newer bikes. Uh, but once I test road already, I feel like my posture not that fantastic. La. I cannot see mm -hmm. myself going long distance. Mm -hmm. mm. So then I went to try out a few AA3 mm -hmm. and then once I met this guy, so shout out to the guy who sold me this bike, Faisal. Uh, <laughs> very, very friendly guy and uh, once I actually, once he start the engine, la, because it's running on the Accra exhaust. Mm. Accra exhaust? Uh? Yeah, Accra exhaust. So oh. once he start the engine, I'm like, wow, the sound is like the Harley sound that I like. Then straight away, it's like, oh, bro, I, I tell you, I, tomorrow we transfer, la, I okay. Right? <laughs> so then it was quite a quick deal. La. So shout out to Faisal. Thanks so much for being a good seller. And uh, yeah, so that's how I got it. Uh, uh, how much was it at the time you saw you? It was around 15K. Yeah, okay. how much was it? About, so I got it last year. So it's a 215 model, should be about 6 years, 5-6 years. Uh, brother, this one uh, is a good deal. No? Fucking good deal. Yeah. It's a good deal. No? You know ADV 150, uh, now how much? No? 14k. 14k? Uh, 14k. Oh my god. 150, 150cc, you know. <laughs> 450cc bike. Are you getting a class 2 bike? <laughs> With 6 years of COE? Yes, very lucky. I think now this year COE is climbing high, that's why. All the bikes are very expensive, right? Yes. Yeah, all the big bikers also don't know what to do with it. Rather than keep it, they sell it at the... Lower price, huh? Uh, lower price. <laughs> <laughs> not even cost price, I think at this one discount, I give Kau Kau one. Mm. Yeah, but you mentioned the Accra exhaust, huh? this one doesn't look like Accra, it really blends in well in design. Huh? Yes, actually, so I want to say, uh, shout out to Vicious Cycle. Mm. Actually, it was actually chrome 
like silver metallic kind of oh, exhaust. Uh, but actually, I went to get it spray painted oh, by Richard Cycle. Yeah. Oh, I see. So that's one of the modifications that you did, lah. Yes, correct. Other than that, what, what, what have you done under your care? You know? Okay, so when I first got on the bike, right, the previous owner Faisal, he was actually running mm. on a 10 inch bar. So Ooh. the bar is quite high, oh, up. Monkey bar. <laughs> <Monkey> bar. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, also, like in terms of the control, the foot packs, right, mm -hmm. is it was actually forward control. Ah, okay. Yeah, so the leg position is a bit relaxed, uh, more chillax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but when I first got on my A3, I wanted to have good, like, revisit the stock look. Okay. Mm, so which is why I changed back to the stock bar, I changed mm -hmm. back to mid controls, mm -hmm. just to see how everything is. Uh, apart from that, right, there's not much changes. I only, like, spray painted maybe the tank cap, and then the exhaust, and mm -hmm. that's about it. So other than that, generally, outlook is what Faisal gave you. La. Yes, correct. Uh, so how much, how much did you spend to revert back to the stock look? <laughs> Revert back to the stock look, uh, I think additional about 2k. Oh. About 2k. Of course, I did some maintenance here and there. Mm -hmm. I changed the clutch plate, I changed some covers here and there. And the usual maintenance is like engine oil, uh, the, maybe the front brake pad, mm. rear brake pad. That's about it. So this air filter, no cover, uh, it's just like that. Uh. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Gives it a nice. Nice and authentic look. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this tag also is. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, I actually added this also. Oh, you added that also? Okay, yes, okay, correct. Because there's basically no storage, uh, and if you were to put a <laughs> box, uh, people will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> actually, some Hardy riders they put the side box, side, side panels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those are pretty nice, but I prefer like a naked look. Uh, so that's why only storage is this uh, leather bag. When you're riding this bike, uh, how's the handling ride? The riding posture? How is it feeling? Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm actually 174, like average height in Singapore, mm -hmm. not very tall, not very short, but uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, when I was uh, actually riding this, in, originally on the on the, the high bar, right, it uh -huh. felt not used to it, mm -hmm. So, but I've, ever since I changed into the stock look, everything is rather smooth, la. there's not much complaints, comfortable, quite comfortable, the seat is comfortable, so um, the only thing about Harley, I think, is about the heat. Ah, yes. Yes. yes, yes, about the heat. So, with, yes, so the heat actually is coming from the sides. So, mm -hmm. especially like your inner thigh area, la, usually uh -huh. will be a bit more hot. Uh, usually, when you're moving, you won't feel it so much. But once you stop at the traffic light, then that is where you can really feel the heat coming. Tell me about it, I've two Harleys before, and uh, yes. they, are, they are quite hot. La. Mm. Uh, I think it's something you need to get used to. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you mean two Harley Cruises? Two, uh, two Harley Cruises. Two Harley Cruises? Uh. Yeah. One, la. one is the Pan Am, the first one is the Pan Am, the second one is the Fat Boy. 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 And then the other uh, one? Which one? Haven't yet. Haven't yet. Oh, yet, oh, haven't yet uh. The one is Sportster. Uh, Oh, I cannot tell. <laughs> <laughs> that one is the, uh, the new one, uh, Sposter S. Mm. Uh, the video launch, I was invited, uh, so that one also damn hot. Uh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> How's the performance? Uh -huh. like? I'm sure this one is damn bulky when you first got it. Uh, actually, for AA3, right, it's actually really considered like the more entry level Harley. Oh, okay. Yes, correct. So I think, if I'm not wrong, this should be the fourth Harley on the channel. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I got, I got watch, uh, I got watch. Uh, nah. <laughs> like the first one was Sajri Night Train, then wow. Pen M, Fat Boy. Now this is the AA3. La. So oh. AA3 is actually quite uh, an entry level. So in terms of performance wise, it's really not that talky. Oh. And actually Harley riders, we seldom speed. La. Uh, yeah. So for myself, for myself, I just I'm more like a chill rider. So maybe I cruise about 90, 100. That's mm -hmm. about it. I don't I don't actually push the bike. So yeah, in terms of riding it, uh, maintenance so far, everything has been pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. How is your maintenance schedule like? Uh, is there any uh, specific uh, timeline you do the maintenance? Yes. Uh, so I go by mileage. Uh, once I hit about 2,005 km, uh, I will go and change for engine oil, and then just to check. If let's say the, the brakes, the brake pads, if, it, if it's wear and tear, I need to change. And then the oil filter, yeah, so things like that. Every mm. 2005, I will just bring it to the workshop and check it out. I see. How there's, much, how no, much? there's no fuel indicator. Yeah, don't have fuel indicator. So, <laughs> old school, I have to use the mileage. Cheap A, cheap B. Oh, I thought you... <laughs> So you open yeah, actually sometimes I will <laughs> open the tank, then shake, shake, see you got oil. Right? <laughs> but how far are you think... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I run away from the question. Uh. Mm. So, uh, how big is the fuel tank and how far can you actually uh, ride on a fuel tank? Okay, so funny story is, right, mm. my first week of getting these, uh, uh -huh. I stuck already. <laughs> Out of petrol. Where, where you sunk uh, Lento. How you sunk uh, Just don't have, no petrol. Uh. All of a sudden, like, you feel the bike jerking. Next thing I know, oh my god, no petrol. Then I, then that stretch, nobody. Then Lento. Lento, uh, yeah. Lento. Yeah, yeah, Lento. It's one whole stretch, nobody. Yeah. Yishun, the one going Yishun there. 
Oh yes. Okay, okay, okay. Kata yeah. Kata dia kata dia orang kau lock car kan. Okay. Yalah, got car lah. But <laughs> sometimes they won't care. At night lah. Mine was at night. Oh, oh at night. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so I have to take cab lah, go petrol kiosk, go and buy the tin can, then come back and pour. <laughs> yeah, so it's very, very troublesome. But uh, right now, it's running about 15 to 18 kilometers per liter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if uh, the tank is about 12 and a half. Uh, liters, quite a small tank. Uh, they call yeah. it a peanut tank. So uh, I've not really went all out to test like the full distance. Uh-huh. But usually I will just ch- uh, top up my petrol once I reach about 150, 180 km. So in general, right when you know you are riding it, uh, how's the reaction like you know on the streets? Oh, I gotta say like. <laughs> it's like Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gotta say, this is the bike that I've, I've made the most friends like, on the road. Mm. Uh, so, something that I, because I'm quite a new Harley rider, I mm-hmm. only ride this like one and a half years. Mm-hmm. So, usually on the road, if I see any Harley riders, right, it would just be like that. Hit not. Yeah, it was up. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like a hit not, like a very, I would say it's a quite uh-huh. like, like good bro ship, okay. friendship. Uh, if let's say sometimes I park, I see other Harley riders, they will come and talk to me. So, yeah, no, so it's, the, the community is quite friendly so far. Mm. And I'm happy about it. Yeah. Have you managed to like, you know, really go out with them on rides or like meetups, you know? Mm, so far, not yet, but I've got a few close friends la, that we are also riding AA3, so mm-hmm. just nice, we will just go rides. La. But usually I'm uh, more like a solo rider. La. Mm, mm. I see, I see. I, I believe if, you know, once the borders are open, we can travel freely without restriction, you definitely will want to try this out, right? Yes. this on the highway, right? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so, so far, under your ownership, right, have you experienced any uh, problems or issues? Or maybe Faisal has shared with you any problems or issues with the bike? In terms of, I think the main issue once is actually IU lah. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. IU position, if you re- realize my IU is not here, it's actually uh, at the side. Oh, it's at the side. Yeah. Nice, More conspicuous. Uh. Yes, correct. <laughs> so, actually, uh, yeah, so IU there's some issues, uh, but it wasn't because of the positioning. Oh, okay. It's because of wiring and cable. Mm. Uh, mm. But, yeah, so I went in and out, IU, inter- uh, the, what's it? Vcom or uh, Vcom. SDA, correct. Yeah. So they always try to change, even they change a new unit, it doesn't work. So end up, it's actually, actually a cabling issue. Ah, so okay, then, okay. yeah, cable or this bike cable? This bike's cable. Oh, okay. uh, so then, uh, eventually, I think it was like about two months. Eh. It was very, very troublesome because I couldn't get into any car park. And once I go into a car park, I scared cannot come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the issues for this bun. But apart from that, really nothing much further. Um, there was once that I changed the clutch plate. Mm-hmm. Uh, like when I kick up to gear four or five, it mm-hmm. just feels like the clutch is not engaging in. Mm-hmm. So then I went to the workshop. Uh, shout out to Sanfu, mm-hmm. and they actually helped me to change the clutch plate. So you oh, so you always go to Sanfu. Sanfu oh. Vicious Cycle. Ah, okay. mm. Sanfu don't mention like that one. Uh, all the Harley riders go there. So many Harley's part of front. Uh. Yes. And what I have to note something interesting about this by the belting uh, is on the right side. Uh. Yes. Together that is awesome. Yes. Wow, it's very uh, unique, uh, unique. Unique, uh, and it conceals the belting. Like the other side is the motor for the brake. Uh. Yes. Wow, this is a unique configuration. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the Harley riders, right, they actually want to showcase the belt. Ah, so uh, they put it on the other side. Uh. No, they actually they put it there, but they take out like the extra mountings. Like the fairings, all they will just remove because they want to see the belt move. Uh. <laughs> Some, you know, Harley Riders is all about customization, custom yeah. life. Uh. Uh, yeah, 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 so yeah, I, yeah. I actually, every time I go Vicious Cycle, shout out to Jeremy and uh, Matt. So I always see a lot of Harleys there, right? Then I go and observe like, what they do here and there. So I think that's one common thing that Harley Riders will do. Mm. But this customization, like, is it on the high side? Uh, it depends on how you do it. Uh, so I would say, if let's say you manage to buy your own parts, you can just go to the shop to actually, uh, they will help you just to change it. Mm-hmm. But if let's say you just got an idea, you don't have the time, then possibly you can actually send your bike there to the mechanic, then they will help you to figure everything out. Honestly speaking, I'm scared. La. If I were to buy a Harley, uh, I'm scared to do anything to it. La. <laughs> <laughs> and given that in the US, uh, I see this bike, they customize until like, wow, you can't even recognize the model anymore, man. It's yes. really custom, custom. You know? mm-hmm. Whew, the culture that the US in the Americas that uh, they've built with this, uh, bike uh, uh, very very intriguing, uh, I mm, must yeah. say. <laughs> the Harley ownership 
Mm. Right, in, in the US, it's like, yes. wow, they, they really, really customize to their own personality. Mm. Yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> we forgot to ask this question earlier on. What were you riding before uh, riding this? Okay, so uh, my 2A bike, I got two, two A bikes. Mm -hmm. so, it, so it was CB400X mm -hmm. and a Daylim Daystar 250. Daystar, it's like <laughs> the cruiser. Uh. Yeah, it's also a cruiser model. But right. Ray, nowadays you never see, only the Phantoms still see. Uh. Yes. Uh -huh. Actually, just to share a bit, uh, actually, how I got started into motorcycle, right? It's because actually my dad used to tompang me to go school mm. when I was six, seven years old, kindergarten. Yeah, so then he was riding a Phantom. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so then that got my interest on like cruisers lah. Since young, like planted in my in my mind, right? <laughs> yeah. So then uh, after that, actually it was during my poly days. Mm -hmm. uh, I would take bus to school lah. Then every day there will be this Harley that pass by, go to work. Mm -hmm. Then I can feel the engine always coming in. Like oh. can hear it, can hear the engine. So I, sometimes I don't even need to see. I know a Harley guy coming past right? uh. Yeah. So uh, actually that's why when I had my own Phantom, mm -hmm. when I had my own Daydream Daystar, I also changed it to look like this. Ah. Uh, like all matte black. Yeah, my dad's one is also matte black. Uh. My dad one no lah, my dad uncle uncle bike. Blue bike. color uh. uncle, uncle, uncle bike. Blue or red lah. Uh. <laughs> uncle uncle what, bike. What was his reaction when he he got to know you rode this? He was surprised lah, uh. and he, I think he, he also very happy, uh -huh. but he don't dare to ride lah, uh, cause uh. it's very heavy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But, but it looks light. It looks light actually. Yeah. It's about I think two fifty. 250 kg. Bro, my NC is heavier than yours. Eh, hey, really? Ah? 270 plus. Eh? Oh. Ah. <laughs> I think because my dad a bit old already. Lah. Oh, yeah, ah, maybe. So lah, maybe, maybe yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, have you ever rode your pillion on it before? Yes. Wow, oh, then not scared man, the person. Uh, this one, then they will need to hug. Uh, hug uh, or if not, it can, they can grab at the side. Lah. Mm. So, yeah, but actually, I'm really thinking about. Having box, my CB four hundred X got three box. Mm -hmm. Then when I change to this, no box are like really a lot of <laughs> inconvenience. Ring <laughs> code, all don't know where to put. But for aesthetics lah, I think this is how it, I, in my mind how it should look like. Put a saddle bag lah. I mean this one is one. Then mm. you put the the two saddle bag le le leather leather saddle bags, you know, mm. by each think, side. I think in, in my personal opinion, the Harley is more of an art piece. It's not meant for practicality. You know, if you want to ride such a bike, uh, you have to deal with all of the uh, inconveniences. Lah. Mm. Respectfully putting. Lah. <laughs> so, but I think uh, a leather saddle bag will uh, complete the look. No? Actually, then, yes. Yeah. I think possibly that might be my next upgrade. Mm. Lah, because I saw some uh, really nice saddle bags uh -huh. um, that are just double sided. Mm -hmm. And it just looks fantastic. Like, it still looks nice, and you still got a bit of space to put your stuff. Yeah, yeah that's all you need sometimes. Gary, final question. Mm. Um, who would you, I know that you did this for one and a half years, mm. and uh, uh, how would you, who, who would you recommend, you know, riders who ride an uh, iron sportster? I would say, if let's say you're a speed junkie, speed adrenaline, you will go for a sports bike, lah, you know, R1, <laughs> mm -hmm. you go Ducati, Aprilia. Mm -hmm. uh, if let's say you're going for like adventure, you like to go touring, then possibly like C GS. NC, yeah, 750, mm -hmm. uh, GS. Um, for people that prefer like a bit more chill, right? Uh, you don't really into speed, you just want to get from point A and point B in a cool style, then possibly you can look into Harleys. See, that's the thing I learned about Harleys. Uh, and during my course of uh, these bike reviews, uh, like, Harleys are not meant to be go fast. Uh, they're meant for nice, racing, chill cruise. With a style. Uh, with style. With style. style. <laughs> yeah, it's important. Come to think of it, Harley is more of a status symbol. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a BMW, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's like really with the history and heritage of a Harley Davidson, you know that you're getting it for the brand, for the look, and for the quality. Yes, mm. the quality. Mm. Harley quality, I, I, solely metal. I think you touch everywhere. It's <laughs> metal. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta respect that. Mm. Yeah, and the tradition that it holds. Uh, I respect Harley riders you know, to live with a bike with inconveniences. Uh. <laughs> and the heat. Uh, Respect, uh, this mm. respect. Uh. Thank you so much. Thanks, Juan. for sharing your yeah. experience with the Iron Sportster. Really, wow, a tricked out bike. You know, very nice, very like Batman-ish. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. As well, I really yeah. appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, hopefully after this, uh, more, more riders, <laughs> more Harley Davidson riders yes. will come forward, you know, and then join us in the in the show. Uh, not only that lah, any riders want to review the bike us, you can touch us on our social media pages below. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestion, do put in the comment section below. Like and share this video with your riding kakis and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to support us as well as our awesome sponsor, Liquimoli. Uh, do check out their online page and use our promo code upon checking out. 
And yeah, that's it for the vlog. We will see you in the next one. Give me all of your